What if your immune system could be taught to stop attacking your insulin producing beta cells, therefore extending your honeymoon period of type 1 diabetes, giving you way more flexibility? It's an investigative clinical trial that's bringing that capability to us and I'm partnering with Diamed to tell you all about it. But first, welcome to my channel. My name is Mila. I am a public health nutritionist living with latent autoimmune diabetes in adults, which is a slow progressive form of type 1 diabetes. And here on my channel, I talk about all things diabetes and nutrition. The easy way you can support my channel is by subscribing. So hit that button, give this video a thumbs up, and let others know that this is information that they should be hearing. For people living with type 1 diabetes, there may be a way to protect the beta cells that you still have. When someone is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, the body has already started the process of attacking the, those little beta cells that are responsible for producing insulin, which is the key that unlocks your cells in your body so that the insulin can get in and the sugar can get. So those insulin producing beta cells also make something called GAF65. It's an enzyme that your body naturally produces. The medical is studying an investigational therapy that gives GAF65 back, almost telling the immune system, hey, I'm new here and I'm not the enemy with a little bit of a reintroduction of your beta cells to your immune system. The goal is to slow down or even stop the attack that's happening between your immune system and those insulin producing beta cells. That allows your insulin producing beta cells to keep working, which means guess what? They're not being destroyed, they're not being attacked, and they're able to efficiently help your body produce insulin the way everyone else's bodies produce insulin. It matters because protecting those cells can extend the honeymoon period. And that honeymoon period is the phase when your body is still making some insulin. So me, diagnosed with LADA five years ago, my body still makes small amounts of insulin. I still will relatively in a honeymoon phase, even though I've noticed over the years that my insulin needs have increased the further I've gotten into my diagnosis. And that's because with Lana, we have a slow progressing type of immune response and immune attack. So that immune response happens more slowly over time than all at once. Having prolonged honeymoon period is it gives you simpler blood sugar management at the very beginning and you're able to ease your way into more complex management and that can really be a benefit in terms of things like cost of supplies, cost of medications, as well as the brain rate space that it takes to do the actual maintenance of taking care of type 1 diabetes. The beast. It's a lot. So having that ability to glide in and ease in rather than your day changing from one day to the next, huge benefit in terms of your overall health and your overall ability to manage this illness. The Diagnode 3 trial is looking for people from the ages of 12 to 29 who've been diagnosed with diabetes in the last six months. It's especially focused on people who carry a particular, which 43% of the people with type 1 diabetes have. So crazy. Clinical trials are so meaningful to our world because it helps us understand more about how the body responds to treatments and how that can affect us over time. And I think many of us with diabetes have a very special connection. I think that's what so happens that when you participate in clinical trials, you are giving the gift to somebody of potentially finding a therapy or a cure, a new innovation that will help people live better lives. Diagnose 3 is enrolling now in the United States and a few European groups. If you think you might qualify or you think somebody you qualify, visit diagnode-3.com or email clinicaltrials at diagnode.com. This is a paid partnership. And I want to be clear, this therapy is investigational. It's still being studied to see if it's safe and effective. And the Diagnode 3 trial is here to answer those questions. For. I will leave a link in the description so that you can get the contact information for this clinical trial if you're interested or you know someone who might be. And tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you feel like a therapy like this could change the game? Do you feel like you would ever participate in a clinical trial? Why or why not? That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.